Hey everyone. So today's topic is subcutaneous mycosis. So in this, so trick for the subcutaneous mycosis is MRCS. In M, there is mycetoma or madura foot, R, rhinosporidiosis, C, chromoblastomycosis, and S, prototrichiosis. Now let's see the mycetoma or madura foot that was discovered in district district of Tamil Nadu. So. We are having two types of mycetoma, actinomycetoma and eumycetoma. Let's learn about the actinomycetoma which is bacterious, bacterial, numerous sinus swellings are present, purulent discharge is there, white and yellow granules, uh, white and yellow granules of actinomadura madurae and no cardia cavae and the red granules of actinomadura pellitrae. Uh, when we crush and see the granules under microscope, these are less than 2 micron bacilli on x-ray. These are osteolytic lesions and responds well to antibiotics. Now, let's learn about the eumycetoma, which is fungal. Sinus, single sinus and swelling are present. Serous discharge is there. Black granules, which are most of them. These are uh, Madurella grecia and Madurella mycetomatis so black granules madurella grecia and madurella mycetomatis now the white granules acrimonium crush and see the granules under microscope which are more than 2 micro hyphae on x-ray the eumycetoma we are having the osteosclerotic lesion so osteosclerotic lesions are there and the eumycetoma they respond very very poorly to the treatment here the amputation is required. Amputation means we have to cut the whole limb. So in actinomycetoma we are having white, yellow, red granules and in eumycetoma we are having black and white granules. Now next is rhinosporidiosis. Rhinosporidiosis is caused by rhinosporidium seabri which is aquatic protozoa and presents with unilateral or bilateral nasal polyps which is the most common presentation in rhinosporidiosis polyp biopsy shows spherules with endospore and treatment is surgical polypectomy which is the best treatment and these are non-cultured on sda so rhinosporidiosis are non-cultured on sda now chromoblastomycosis or dermatitious fungus or pigmented fungus so chromoblastomycosis chromo means itself color dermatitious fungus or pigmented fungus involves skin and subcutaneous tissue thorn prick is there or we can say that wood prick there is verrucous lesions or warty lesion biopsy of warty lesions and h and &E staining shows sclerotic bodies medulla bodies brown colored globose bodies and shows copper penny appearance so we can see the sclerotic bodies and medullar bodies so this is the picture of sclerotic bodies which are seen in the chromoblastomycosis so these are also known as medullar bodies or sclerotic bodies now Let's learn about the sporotrichiosis or the Rose Gardner's disease caused by Sporotrix shenkai and spread by thorn prick or the Gardner's disease. Increased incidence in and around Valentine's Day. Diamorphic fungus at 22 to 25 degrees Celsius molds and at 37 degrees Celsius east. Now, the mold is flower like sporulation and yeast cigar shaped so mold is flower like and yeast is cigar shaped now cigar shaped yeast cell or narrow based budding yeast cell is sporotrichiosis now let's see the structure of the sporothrix shenkai so this is the structure of sporothrix shenkai and we can see the mold form is flower like and there is cluster of conidias are present which are arranged like flower and there is cigar shaped cell this cell this cell is cigar uh, cigar shaped cell which is yeast and this is sterigmata and 
the basophilic material surrounded by eosinophilic material is splendor heopoly phenomena